So I'm gonna do a little recap of what we did this week. Uh, no single project really got done. So I'll just go over some of the things we did. You'll see a little bit of what we do throughout the week. So we're heading over to the paint booth. Uh, show this uh, W900 of ours, what we, what we started on this week. and. Pretty close, we just gotta put the lights back in it. So, this is our W900. It's always for sale, all of our trucks are for sale. But this truck we use a lot on the farm too. Um, it's got low miles on this engine, but I'm short, I'm only 5'8, but my brother is like 6'3. So they don't make a fat boy kit for a W900. So we went ahead and made this, made a Peterbilt one work. So we just got done painting it, uh, which I'll show you. We're gonna put the six lights in the back um, and this will make it a lot easier for my brother and other people that are taller. Cause like I say, I don't have an issue with it, but, uh, but a lot of other people do. So I guess if anybody is looking for a 2000 W900 day cab with fat boy kit on it, um, I believe we're around 45,000 on this one. I believe the engine has around 300 on it. Um, it is a Detroit 60 series, but out of any Detroit we've ever had, like this thing leaks no oil, has no oil issues, which we've never, we've never had a Detroit that didn't leak oil. This one runs great. It's a little low geared, which obviously is easy to change. It's about a 70, 75 mile an hour truck right now, but it doesn't take much to, uh, doesn't take much to change that. So there's the kit. Like I say, no window in it yet, no lights in it yet. Let's see what the inside is. I don't even know if we've, how far we've got on matching the interior back up. So here, like I said, we had to cut wider than obviously the original opening was we've got to put all the wiring back we've got to put it do interior around it I mean it isn't done um, which for this video and this vlog we're gonna go kind of show you where we're at and then on the next one when we get this done we'll we will uh, show you what we got um, it'll look great Eddie's really good at doing interior so uh, yeah So next we'll head over to the shop, um, show you a couple other projects we're working on. That also makes it a little hard to film because we kind of jump around from a couple different projects right now, doing different things, trying to get done. Um, so there's no real rhymed reason on which truck we're working on at the moment. It just depends on what we have in, in, in to work on it. And if somebody's been looking at a truck or somebody wants a truck, something like that. So all right, let's go see what else we got. So I got Aaron picking up a trailer. Okay, let's see what else we uh, got done this week. Okay. So, we're in the shop now. Show this... Uh, So this day cab, 379 Peterbilt long hood. So this 379 long hood day cab, we just made it a fat boy kit. Um, we just had it all soda blasted. And he did some, we had to do some body work here. Uh, different hood that we had fixed off of another truck at another time. And then right here we had to do the same body work right here um, obviously the hood does sit down right we just didn't do it right now no real worry about it um, then in here we got 
if you guys probably seen the video this this video of uh, this truck being built we had a few different videos and then it uh we had a fast forward video we did just showing everything done quickly that has over 250,000 views um the truck is dirty right now but it's winter time so wash them about once a week so on this day cab some of that video we'll, i'm going to be showing a few things we did that to that this week with the day cab with the fat boy kit and stuff then um let's see here walk over here kind of it got really cold the last couple days so we brought everything inside that we could so we uh when our guys have to go tonight sunday night uh home pigs now after this is a guy that's pulling one of our trailers here so we just got inside where it's warm uh this truck is the 01 379 uh with the coffin bunk has a new motor pre-e-log 97 engine um all fresh we'll put it together has the has the 2016 cut off of peterbilt with the disc brakes and low air leaf so right now here's the disc brakes all the way around and then also with the right here we have also the different front axle off the same truck so it has disc brakes also it also lowered everything we're changing trying making sure we get the truck uh level so that it's going to ride smooth no vibration stuff like that right now for when we're moving it we just have this tank this gas can that's full of the diesel and then this battery we just have we just hang it um, just enough to make it move it from one side of the shop to the other or in and out of the washout or the paint booth whatever we need uh, so anyways i'm really hoping this week we get going on this truck a lot more to show the pro progress and the quality i rushed the video getting done on it uh when we were working on it before harvest and didn't show everything um we're going to show everything more detail on it so beyond that um you got a customer truck here and then we just brought five minutes ago i brought over this truck from the paint booth into the shop And right there's what we'll be working on this week too. We also, on our spotter, put a bunch of these little uh, trucks, spotlights on it, floodlights, work lights, all the way around. They're up there. See if I can get it in the view. On each corner, the top, front, back side. Makes it way nicer for backing in trailers at night. Um, we'll show you how that goes. Uh, I'll try getting that done this week, uh, showing all the, how bright it is, backing everything in. So other than that, that's pretty much what we did this week on the trucks. Um, I'm really hoping to get on that 01 pretty hard this week. Actually, that 01 will be going in, I think tomorrow, the Soda Blaster guy is coming. We're going to Soda Blast it, so it'll be down there ready to where, when we're ready to paint, we can paint. Other than that, that's pretty much what we did this week. Um, all five of our livestock trailers are home right now. They're leaving tonight about midnight. So um, That's been a little bit of a venture again. It's been a while since we had trailers, but it works keeps our washout busier um, All right, well, that's it
Okay, last thing we'll talk about today is the Western Star. Uh, my brother got this truck off of a local farmer. Um, we haven't got it all cleaned up, but we put the stacks on it. These are trucks exhaust, uh, 10 inch. We went that way because the inside of the bunk and the cab indents where they fit inside of it. We just thought it'd be kind of a cool look. Some people like it, some people don't, but we think it looks different. Uh, it doesn't look gaudy like they do, say on a, on sometimes on Peterbilt's or especially Kenworth's, they're just way too big and they stick way out. These actually fit pretty, like, I'm trying to figure out the best way to put the camera. It's not much of a, it doesn't stick out much. It's pretty much almost flat with it, out just about an inch or so. Um, we ended up cutting, uh, we had to cut the tanks down about 14 inches on each side because they used to go clear up by the step. So we cut those down, we put them on. Obviously, we had to put this truck to work right away. We didn't get it done. It's not done to what we want. This spring we're gonna paint it because the people that owned it before, sometime they uh, did something to get the decals off. I'm guessing with razor blades or whatever. They took a bunch of the paint. So we're gonna repaint the truck at some point, probably towards spring. Uh, polish all the aluminum we just did we only did the rims we did polish the rims but we've been using this truck for a few weeks now um, we had to fix the steps which I believe in the videos we'll be showing where we had to weld on the steps put new plates in them because they were kind of rusted out um, we did put the trucks LEDs uh, with the heated lenses in it all the way around because we're using this truck to fill in hauling pigs with uh, one of our trailers if you know if somebody can't go or uh, somebody's truck breaks down this is what we got also we got to go down here if you can tell the alley arc bumper here is uh off down here on the frame we got to remount it i'm not really sure why it did this but it's off on the one side been like that since before we bought it we're gonna re-situate that and it'll be even As far as the inside, we've got two Bostrom Pro Rides, one low rider. We got the other one on the pedestal. We threw down some car new carpet up front here, and there's so much room in this truck. I mean, you could lay sideways across here and not touch anything. Tons of room. I'll go more in depth at another time when we get this thing finished but for right now it's working we use it when we need it just uh like they did a little different with the bigger stacks we're gonna recustomize the visors we're gonna put a new visor on it and uh put it to the windshield more there's just a lot there's still a lot to do to it but it's at least working on the road for us also in case there's anybody out there watching uh, in the Midwest area that needs hay, we have I think about 300 round bales left. Where's my arm? There it is. About 300 round bales of first, second, and third cutting hay. You can contact us at McDonald Chrome Shop at iCloud.com or call us at 712-652-3834. If you need any hay, we could also deliver it if, if that's something that you needed. So my brother and I uh, kind of do the day-to-day -day running the business. Um, my dad started it, ran it, uh, built this business, but his health, he had cancer about seven years ago. Um, he beat cancer, but he, his health isn't that isn't great. So he still does the finances and stuff like that, but me and my brother do the day-to-day. -day. My brother uh, runs more of it than I do but we alternate weekends like right now his daughter's birthday is this weekend so they went to minnesota to a water park and stuff like that um so i stay here and do this we had a truck that needed to wash on a sunday who's a good customer so i let him in we don't do that all the time anymore in the winter because of the the heat and people leaving our doors open and um not thawing out with hot water um and our lagoon can only hold three million gallons so we've uh we alternate our weekends 
Um, my brother runs a lot of the truck stuff. I don't do as much of that. I do the YouTube stuff. I run the Chrome shop and then help run the washout um, on the daily functions of that. Other than that, it just takes a lot of teamwork. We have some really good employees working for us. And uh, this is Sunday. Um, you know, we're here a lot. We stay late a lot of nights. If somebody calls us, neat. we close at 6. But if um, uh, if people need washed out and they're going to be here at 7 or something like that, they'll usually call us about five by 5 o'clock and say, hey, can somebody be there at 7? And most of the time, we will. Um, and in the summertime, once it, once the... We have we stop using the heat. We can uh, you can wash all night, any time of day. Whenever we're not here, you can wash your own trailer at that point. In the winter time, we don't do that as much. So, anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully, we'll do some more like this in the future. It's tough enough driving a truck in the winter. Why use outdated halogen or standard LED headlights that are constantly covered with snow and ice? You need something that performs better. Trucks Accessories has the perfect solution. Introducing our brand new heated LED projector headlights available in both low beam and high beam. Trucks revolutionary LED projector headlights feature quick heat technology and automatic heat activation using sensors to detect the outside temperature. When the sensor reads 3 degrees Celsius or less, elements quickly heat up to melt any buildup. Our unique flat surface lens allows any snow or ice to slide off fast and efficiently, leaving no obstructions blocking your visibility. Truck's projector LED technology is four times brighter than halogen lights and twice as bright as standard LED lights and provide a wide and even beam of brilliant bright light. Truck's lower half moon shaped beam pattern meets stringent DOT standards Whereas the competition uses a full moon beam pattern, which is not compliant because the upper portion of the beam may blind oncoming traffic. With an IP67 waterproof rating, a heavy duty polycarbonate lens, and an aluminum die cast housing, these heated headlights are built to endure the toughest conditions. Designed to last and backed with the longest warranty on the market at seven years. So choose Trucks Heated Headlights because winter is coming. For more information or to find a local distributor, please visit our website at truxaccessories.com.